Good morning students. Myself Devi, lecturer in electronics, department of electronics from MVN, JS and RBR degree college, Malkipuram. Today I am presenting a video, subtraction of two 8-bit numbers topic. In previous class, we see addition of two 8-bit numbers. So today in this class, we will perform subtraction of two 8-bit numbers. So for subtraction of two 8-bit numbers, I will give a question. Write an assembly language program to subtract two 8-bit numbers stored at address 400 and 4001 in 8085 microprocessor. The starting address of the program is taken as 4000. So first uh, my aim is to write a program in assembly long ways for subtraction of two 8-bit numbers. For subtraction of two 8-bit numbers, I will give two addresses which is 400 and 4001. For uh, 400, I will give the input as 30 and 4001, I will give another input as 20. So, for this input data, we are performing subtraction. So, uh, the starting address of the program is taken as here 400. So for that I will start with memory address 4000. So total the, the memory address is ranging from. So total the memory address is ranging from 000h to fffh. Total the entire memory location is in this range only. Here H means hex code. So for that, for that memory, we will select any one. So here in this question, we will ask the starting address of the program is taken as F00. So for that, uh, I will write the address here 400. And uh, we see the mnemonics. Uh, this is same as addition operation subtraction is same as addition in place of add m we give sub m here remaining all is same so for uh, mnemonics lxi h comma 400h so uh, the meaning is load register pair immediate h comma 400h it means get the address of first number into hl pair here uh, the first number is 400H is directly loaded into this HL pair. So now HL pair has 400H. This is the first memory address is loading. So for 400H I will give the input as 30. So remember it I will give the input as first input 30. So next move a comma m. Here move a comma m means the memory which is 400, 400h whatever the contents present in 400h is moved into accumulator. What, what I am giving the content means here in place of 400 I will give 30 as an input and 4001 I will give 20 as an input. So for move a comma m instruction here m has 400. Here 400 has the content 30. That content is directly moved into accumulator. So now the accumulator has a has 30 now. Now a has 30. Next increment h. Increment h means in the first instruction HL, HL pair has 400. Now that HL pair will be increment means 40. It will become 4001. If suppose uh, uh, in HL pair if there is a 4005 means increment means it will become 4006. That means just adding one number to that memory address increment means. So now increment H means 4000 will become 4001. So next sub m means sub m means 
subtraction will be performed with a minus m here a has 30 and m has second input 20 so 30 minus 20 we will get 10 as the output by default this output will be stored into the accumulator so now accumulator has 10 which is nothing but the result so my aim is to store the accumulator 4002 into this location so accumulator 49 is directly stored into 4002 now 4002 has result which is 10 so this is the subtraction operation so once the operation is completed finally we will give HLT here HLT means stop the execution so this is the so this is the writing of the program so next I will give the inputs here inputs uh, first in place of 400 I will give I will give 30 as the input and second for second memory address I will give 20. So 30 in the form of binary we will write it as 0 0 double 1 and 0 we will write it as 0 0 0. Next 20 we will write it as 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 will be written as 0 for subtraction operation here 0 0 0 0 here all zeros here 1 minus 0 means 0 1 minus 1 means sorry 1 minus 0 means here 1 and 1 minus 1 means 0 here 1 minus 0 means 1 and 1 minus 1 means 0 and 0 minus 0 means 0 and 0 minus 0 means 0 here 0 0 0 1 means nothing but 1 and 0 0 0 means 0 we, we will get the output as 10 so that 10 will be stored into one of the memory location so which is 4002 so this is the inputs and outputs so this is the subtraction operation So, in this way, we will write the program. This is same as addition. But in place of add, we will give here subtraction. Which is SUB. Okay. In next class, I will explain you about addition of two 16-bit numbers. So, now we will see about addition of two 8-bit numbers and subtraction of two 8-bit numbers. So, next class, I will explain you about 16-bit numbers. Okay, thank you all.